Well, you probably run into this in your shop already, a Volkswagen with a cylinder misfire. And on this particular issue, though, it's a PO304, a misfire in cylinder number four. But the diagnostic here is not as quite as simple as you might think. And here to help us today with that is Ryan Coyman from Intermotor. Hi, Ryan. Thanks hey, for Jim. being here. Pleasure. Tell us a little bit about what sets this failure up. Well, as you've already gone ahead and removed this engine cover here, you'll notice we've got a pretty tight engine compartment here. A lot of stuff going on in here. There's still a lot of heat kicking out of here. That's our first indicator right there. As we see the ignition coil here, as you've already pointed out, we've got a PO304. So it's going to be cylinder number four where our problem is. But there's a lot of heat here, and this particular coil has the primary windings and the ignition module incorporated together in the top here. So if we take and look at our new coil, we've got a lot of plastic componentry here, and then we've got the metal sheathing that goes down inside the cylinder head there. This is very prone after time to failures up here. Also, you could have secondary failure where it's arcing to the metal cylinder head itself. Right, now I noticed that, of course, we're gonna get heat failure up here, it's gonna break down the material mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, and that may be a little bit about what's going on here. Um, the metal down here, though, that's gonna conduct the, the spark from there over to the cylinder head really is caused by more of an internal short, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Perhaps the uh, secondary shorted to the primary, mm -hmm. a lot of inrush current, which is not gonna be good for the control module. Absolutely. Uh, so, tell us a little bit more about the replacement procedure. Well, the replacement procedure is pretty straightforward. Oh, you know what? Somebody's been here before and broken the clip off this connector here. That's why I asked you to tell us about the oh. replacement procedure because you guys see this every day. Those darn connectors, the metal clips are gone, and also the connectors kind of deteriorate after a while, don't oh, they, absolutely. Ryan? absolutely. Tell us why they do that. Well, again, it's because of the heat. I'm not sure if it's a, a construction quality issue or something, but because of the heat, uh, this one here, the clip is missing. I've seen some of these where it's just completely disintegrated there. The factory fix for this, do you know what that is? Replace the entire wire harness. Absolutely, isn't it? absolutely, and nobody ever likes to do that. Well, what is your fix? Well, we have a line called TechSmart in which we, it's a problem solving solution line. And so we've got a pigtail connector specifically for this application here. So we can go in a couple different ways, depending on the, if the electrical terminals are okay. The technician can use the tool that comes with a kit, release the terminals, back them out, use the original wiring with a new plastic connector, or simply cut the wires and splice them back into place here. Multiple ways of attacking it. I love that that tool comes with the kit because it's so much easier if we don't have to replace the wiring, just replace that busted up connector, isn't it? So let's go ahead and get this thing replaced. All right, perfect. Well, first thing you'll notice, there's no bolts holding this coil down, so it comes up relatively straightforward and simple. Now we're going to take our new coil, and it's already got a little bit of dielectric grease in there, so we don't have to worry about further insulation there. And now we're going to gently install it in place here. Do a little bit of twisting, make sure it's seated fully. Now what's some of the things you've seen in your days? Prying, hammering, exactly. banging, don't do those things. <laughs> exactly. That kind of kills the warranty story in this when you try and return it later <laughs> on. So, Well, let's go ahead and get this connector replaced and get this vehicle down the road. I think we're gonna break great right with this one. And that's the name of the game, isn't it, Jim? That's right. 